Welcome in. It's the PHNX Cardinals podcast live from State Farm Stadium. It's the post game show, the red and white practice. It's also the, de- the debut for this newest member of the podcast, Johnny Venerable, Bo Brock, Saul Bookman in the house, the GM, Greg Dorch. Welcome, Greg. Thanks so much. <laughs> Caught a touchdown today, ran up here, jumped on the post game show. Man, it was fun. Uh, just getting back out there with everybody, uh, new coaches, new, uh, new teammates. Um, today was fun. A lot of fans out here. It was really fun. We finally added some playmaking to this crew. Yes. Uh, no, no disrespect to Saul Bookman. <laughs> he probably brings the most out of uh, the three of us. Zero. Zero. Yeah. But I feel like when at, when your career is over, Greg, it's you're going to have an autobiography out there. It's going to be the art of getting open. I mean, it's unbelievable how much space you create out there. You continue <laughs> to do it today. You've done it all training camp. What is? Can you can you break it down for us? Yeah, man. Honestly, it's just a gift from God. Honestly, like I'm, I've been blessed to be able to, to just make people miss in spaces and um, just create opportunities for myself and just get open. Like I can't really put too much on me, man. I'm, it's really a God gift. A God, God gift talent. I'm not trying to set you up for failure by any stretch of the imagination, but what's the difference between last year and this year in terms of camp? Uh, I think from a player standpoint, I think the coaches this year are taking care of our bodies a little bit more. Um, I know camp is supposed to be tough, but um, I just think their philosophy and how they look at taking care of us and making sure we're ready to go, I think they're doing a really good job at that. Greg, you would pop off last year for big games, touchdowns, yardage, and then we would watch this podcast, this show, and and, and we would be adamant that why isn't he getting more opportunities? Was it yeah. frustrating for you last year to be as productive as you were? You were the number one receiver, advanced metrics, and separation. And and you probably had a bunch of people telling you, where's the opportunities? Do you feel like that's going to change in, in this year and you're given those opportunities because you've earned them? Uh, Nothing's earned, man, in this league. Um, I would be lying if I said I wasn't frustrated. Um, but just coming from where I came from, um, before I even got to the Cardinals, I was at home sitting on the couch just waiting for an opportunity. And then I got my opportunity with the Cardinals, um, got on the practice squad, and I've just been working from day one. Um, so, like, I wasn't – I didn't feel like they, they owed me an opportunity. I was just waiting. And when it came, I took advantage of that. And that's what the NFL is, man. When you get your number called, you got to either step up and perform or it may, it may never get caught again. So um, definitely was frustrating just because I'm a competitor and I want to go out there and I want to show what I can do. But when your number's called, you just got to take advantage of that. And I feel like I did that. I'll never say you're content because I don't think you're content. I'm sure you, you still want to do a lot in this league and you've got some high aspirations and, and you've you had a fantastic season, but are you seeing that your hard work is paying off at least? I mean, what your performance last year in training camp translated to snaps in the regular season. It translated to you coming back here, going into a big contract season for yourself. You get opportunities like joining, you know, PHNX Sports, <laughs> other things outside of that. Yeah, I mean, you got to feel like, yeah. you know, things are trending in the right direction yeah, after all that fun. hard work. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, a, it's a great feeling just to just see all the hard work and, Man, it's been a long journey for real. This is my fifth team. If, if nobody knows about anything about my journey, this is my fifth team. This is my fifth year in the NFL. Um, I played on three different teams as a rookie. Um, getting cut and just getting told you're not good enough. Um, 19 years old, leaving school early. Man, it's, it's been a long journey. So just to see all the hard work paying off, um, it feels really good. But this is really just the beginning. Like I, I feel like I have so much more in the tank to show everybody. So I'm excited. I mean, listen, man, this brother's got a lot of things going for him, yeah. for sure. Like, everything seems like it's trending in the right direction. Let's talk about one of those things, us. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, obviously, we, we reached out to you, and we were like, hey, you know, we want, we want to give you an opportunity to do a few things. Some of these things we're not going to tell you about because we're going to tease them for later on. Uh, but we got some pretty cool things in the works. You're going to be joining us the entire preseason. Um, you know, what, what, what about us appealed to you, and why did you want to kind of dabble in the podcast uh, podcast space? Uh, well, for one, for me, I feel like I'm not really a guy who likes to talk like that as much. Like, I'll talk to people, but you kind of have to, like, start it. Mm-hmm. Um, so for this to, like, this is kind of new for me. Like, I never thought I would do something like this, but it's good to get out and let people hear your voice. And um, I don't know. It's a good thing. My my dad actually listens to you guys' podcast. Oh, that's so fantastic! He was excited. Like, oh yeah, oh, I love this podcast. You're gonna be on it. <laughs> yeah, so that's... shout out to my dad, man. But I'm excited to be on this, man. I'm excited, y'all. You guys are good people. You man. have yeah. a tremendous story, man. Yeah, that was one of the things when 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 your name came up and we started talking. It was like, dude, how do we how do we not 
how do we not go with Greg? Like he's, mm-hmm. he's got such a tremendous story. Uh, you're a man of faith. Like there's a lot of things that you've gone through in your life, a lot of obstacles that, but you've still managed to navigate them all to get to this point. I think you're, yeah, as we start to learn more about you, I think that's one of the things that a lot of people are going to understand is your inspirational story and you'll end up being an inspiration to a lot of people, if not already. Mm -hmm, For sure. Um, I just think about all the the kids who are told they're too big or too small, um, not fast enough, um, can't play. D1 level, can't make it to the NFL, man, those are just opinions, man. Don't listen to anybody. Just keep your head down. Um, pray. Go to church, man. Just uh, just work hard. And it'll pay off at the end of the day. I, I promise you it'll pay off. He scored a touchdown today, the newest member of the PHNX Cardinals podcast, Mr. Greg Dorch. We're going to let him go back and eat his food. Well, can we can we find out what kind of ball Clayton Toonstone looks like a pretty ball out there? I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. He's getting more comfortable and more comfortable. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm really excited to, there, to watch him play. There was a play. It wasn't the touchdown, but it, it was a good t- anticipation where you'd kind of come across the field, and he, he didn't leave you waiting. It, it looked good from t- uh, number yeah, 15. Yeah, a couple of days ago in practice? No, today. I think it was today. Oh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. The day. Before yeah, yeah, the touchdown. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Just, just getting the reps with him, man. He's getting more comfortable, and I can just feel a, a connection. Growing, yeah. So it's exciting. Yeah, cool. we're excited to have you a part of our crew. I, it's a, your fan favorite amongst – our fans, the Cardinal fans, and that was, I mean, one of the biggest reasons you bring up Greg Dorch and, and people light up. So yeah. thank you so much for hopping on with us. We look forward to chatting with you all throughout the course of the preseason. Yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. Man. Thank cool, you, man. Appreciate thank you. you. Cool. I, I want Greg to think about something, too. We're going to let him go. Maybe we'll tease this for a future appearance. Who his goat, Demon Deke, is? Is it CP3? Is it Duncan? We'll get that answer later. <laughs> we got to get that <laughs> answer later it. because... We've uh, taken too much of his time today, but we're excited. Much more of Greg Dortch, of course, coming up here on this very podcast, PHNX Cardinals, PHNX Sports.